Hey, yeah, I like wrestling podcast. You see what I did there? Are you gonna start? No, yeah. Are you real right now? The greatest general manager. <laughs> Jesus. I'll allow it. That's that's peon moves. <laughs> Yep, I like wrestling. <laughs> Greetings, reports unknown. My name is Sunny Sofrito, and today I am joined by the administrating wild card, Stefan Villa. And I'm also joined today by the Brooklyn Wolf of Makeup. This is April, you heard. And I'm also joined today by finally Olympus Cara. Oh, Lord. Hey, Mama Sita, how you doing? Oh, Lord. Uh, you happy to see me? No. No, look, no. At, you got a smile, you know, it's not Why your month anymore. It's trying to come in, your, come in your month, you know? Oh, God, it's wait. Like your favorite month. Uh, well, when this episode is going to be airing, it's already, it's already going to be May. It's going to be fine. May. I can, I can still come back into <laughs> April over and over and over again. Oh, it's, Lord. It's got, whoa, wait no. a minute. Can you disclaim him, please? Wait, wait the thoughts is, you know what? Actually, you know what? I'm going to give you the chance. You can disclaim him. The thoughts and opinions of <laughs> Elizabeth <laughs> Carter, no. <laughs> It's by Olympus. <coughs> you know what? Really? Go away. Go away. Really? We're going to continue this. Go really? Away. April? You know what? Anyways, you know you're what? disclaiming. Yes. You're not even wearing the disclaimer shirt. It don't matter. You can't disclaim nobody. You're from the same show I am. Oh my you're God. on my Steph- side. You're Stephon, on my team. Stefan, why'd you bring this dude up? I thought he would behave himself. We had a discussion before. Olympus, please stop. Shut up, your face. All right. Check this out. Those of you listening right now, this is a part of the Yep Shakeup. So, members of the Yep I Like Wrestling podcast went on Unpopular Review, which is on the, yes, the Yep I Like Wrestling Facebook page, shown Mondays at 11.05, Tuesdays at 10.05, and Wednesdays at 9.05. So, we had Teddy on Monday. We had myself joining Chris Harris on Tuesday. And Chris Harris was joined by Beige Benoit on Wednesday. So, today, you're listening to me, Sunny Sofrito, with... The Unpopular Review crew. Uh, crew. Uh, the Unpopular Review crew. He can't even get it right. He's just drinking mm. so damn much. Like, I, I, it, mm. listen, Jesus. Mm. Like, he doesn't pay people, but he, he can drink. Hey, listen. He does. Didn't I feed you guys earlier? You didn't feed anybody. You didn't feed well, it's because you got here late. So shut the fuck up. I had one chicken you didn't wing. Even it was pay so me dope. To be here. Hey, you know but what? That, that wing was dope. That right? wing was dope. I'm yeah. proud of my wing. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm more than you, Tara. Yeah. Oh. Stuck in that tarot. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> I, I, I thought food was pretty good. I, I really enjoyed it, though. Yeah, right? Yeah, it was, it was pretty dope. I, I, I don't understand why some people who got here late didn't enjoy food, but, you know. Yeah. You'll be all right. Well, listen, let's uh, start talking some wrestling. So, the three of you, thank you for joining for this Yep Shake Up, this final installment. And uh, let's begin with uh, some news Relating to CM Punk. Oh, Lord. Here yeah. we go again. So, at this point, you guys could just, sh- uh, you know, chant CM Punk to yourself. Um, I, I'm not chanting that shit, Sonny. <laughs> why you don't like him? He's not paying me to chat, so why am I chanting? <laughs> the fuck? <sighs> hey, you I don't know think he can afford you, so. He can't, I, I mean, if, if Chris can afford me, Sonny can definitely afford me, you know, with all the t shirts going around here. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's mad. Shh. Mm. Well, let's see, you know what? <laughs> well, CM Punk is basically uh, not expected to be on AEW for Double or Nothing on May 25th. Which is, once again, a t-shirt company. So well, are they a t-shirt t-shirt company? promos? No. They got a show coming May 25th at, in Las Vegas. That's nice. You have a show every month, but you still have a t-shirt company. What show are you talking what, about? What? It's, it's the podcast. I just I, I assume it's every month. It's not every week. Because I don't listen to that shit but once a month. Yo, where do you All right. live? All right. Olympus? In April. Uh, oh, oh, Lord. That's strike one. The thoughts and opinions of Olympus are <laughs> his, and they do not represent the thoughts or opinions of Yep, I Like Wrestling. So, so um, I'll control your friend. Yeah. So, real quick, let's just talk about CM Punk. So, basically, CM Punk was rumored to be on AEW, but it's looking like it's not going to happen because uh, he's, he's doing commentary for an MMA show that's going to be viewed on UFC channel. On uh, the U- I think the UFC app, and that show is in California. So I mean, Vegas is not that far from Cali. Well, that's the, well, that's the other thing they're saying. Well, mm. if they really want CM Punk, they could fly him out and have him do double duty. But 
I don't know. I just find that a little odd to see that happening. At this point, the fanfare is big enough to bring Punk back into WWE. I think that you need him back in WWE at this point. You know, with the merger with Fox, you need something big on Raw side. So you're getting Fox wants Rousey, Fox wants Brock Lesnar, Fox wants Roman and AJ and all these different and people. edginess. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So what are we going to do on the Raw side? Because we're going to take viewership from Monday and Tuesday nights to now just Fridays. Yeah. So I mean. You you kind of got to bring a shock factor back to Monday nights, and I think that's CM Punk. Honestly, you just give the people what they want, because we've been chanting his name <laughs> even before he left. We're not going to stop. You we- know what? If they were to bring <laughs> CM Punk back to be on the Fox, can you think about the money they're going to have to f- that, no. that it would take to get him to be like, all right, fuck it, I'm going to swallow my pride? It's mm-hmm. probably all the money we're not getting from Sonny, because he's not paying anybody. I'm just, he, I'm just he, saying, we are here he, for free. He doesn't work under Sunday. He doesn't, he doesn't pay listen, anybody. Listen, listen, Olympus. Well, why are Olympus. you here then? Why are you still butt hurt? Because Chris fought me to be here. He told me to be here because he said <sighs> April will be here with Ol- the Olympus, on, Olympus, so I need that's you. That's why I'm here. To, Olympus, you. I need you to understand something. This is a charitable organization. Charitable to you? He, he pays himself. I'll allow it. But listen, I need you to I just. I mean, I got a chicken wing. Yeah. I pay in food, man. <laughs> Listen, get here early next time. I so, uh, moving on. Yes, in food. <laughs> in addition to the whole CM Punk AEW whole rumors, it's also being put out there that WWE is also interested in CM Punk, despite the black, the bad blood that they have. So, I mean, Vince did tell us he's going to give us what we want, and slowly he has been. Yeah. So, but then again, he's old, and I don't know. I don't know. This could go. They could go back and forth with the whole CM Punk thing back in yeah. WWE. I mean, his honest. name, his name popping up a lot lately. Him doing that little running at the indie show. Yeah. You know, him just kind of being put out there. There's, it's we haven't heard, we haven't seen the the last of CM Punk that by far. Oh, that that man's not going anywhere. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I think he has as much chance as the Night King had of beating Bran Stark of coming back to <laughs> WWE. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shit. This man is gone. He's Spoilers. He's done. Spoilers. If you Spoiler haven't watched, alert. <laughs> hey, <laughs> man, if you haven't watched the episode by now, you're fucking I I don't know, man. This damn. I have to agree with you Olympus cuz damn. That was a good episode. But we're not going to talk about Game of Thrones. We're talking about wrestling. You know, and, and, when you're good at your which, job, you can which, make references like that. It's which, called which, topical references. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, we're not doing this. You know, so speaking of the Night King, let's talk about the Undertaker who's expected to be on the Fox show. <laughs> 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 what, did, what are they doing with this man? Um, I don't hey. know, man, but Undertaker and John Cena are expected to be on the, the debut of Set Friday night. I can't even think of what damn night is going to come on. Friday, Friday night SmackDown. Friday night sweat. Friday night heat. Friday wait, wait, night. wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you there out there looking for a good hey, wrestling boy, Why is he making podcast? that voice? Shh. Are you looking for you enjoy this? some Shh. fun? Enjoy it. To enjoy. He's talking while slow. While you listening to wrestling. Like I talk to you. <laughs> You're listening to... <laughs> okay, so, yeah. I don't know what that was, but I can do it better. I, you know what? Oh Lord! Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> are you are you challenging me I, for a Saturday night sweat off? I am challenging you for Saturday night. All right, night so you know what? One, weird. two, three. Go ahead. This is getting weird. Hey, Mama Sita. Oh Lord, no! <laughs> what are you doing, baby? It's time for this Saturday night. Sweat. Yo, that's just kind of so little bit awkward. <laughs> this is wait, weird. wait, wait. You're not looking at me. I wait, don't want to. Uh, of course, because you are, you're laughing. You're, you're feeling a little. Tilted. There's also the glare in your mask. She's looking at her reflection. I know. It's beautiful. <laughs> She's such a beautiful person, you know? Damn right I am. All right. Anyway. <laughs> so. D- damn it, Olympus. Just shut up. Just, yeah. just quiet, please. Just yeah, please. Stefan, put, put him in check, bro. Come on. I... Yeah, so Man, um, can we get him a chicken wing so he shut up? Just because I'm Haitian doesn't mean I can shut him up, and just because you feed him doesn't mean he's gonna be quiet. It's like you don't know that. You know what? Here's I mean, have thing. you tried it? Because he's never around. I mean, you should try it. You should put something in his mouth. No, I'm good. Okay, cool. No. <laughs> the thoughts and opinions of <laughs> Stefan 
and Olympus does yes. not reflect the thoughts or opinions of Yep I Like Wrestling or Unpopular Reviews. And <laughs> see, what you, see, see what you did? You just got us disclaimer. From your own brand, too. It, it's not my fault. I just came on this show because Chris told me to be here. He said April will be here in Bikini. That's why I'm here. Oh, my you, you know what God. April, you know what Chris also said to me? I don't know. Be quiet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's nice for him. He's right. telling you to be quiet and drink. Yeah. Drink. Pour up. Drink. I, I, I will drink. But listen, uh... <laughs> You know, you're driving me to drink, but um, the Fox SmackDown show, thoughts? I don't even know. I haven't really thought about it, especially like viewership, especially it's on a Friday night. No one's going to be watching wrestling. No one's going to be home watching this. So I mean, the I kiddies. Don't, I don't know. The kiddies oh, yeah, are the kids. Watch, but but they it. want to make it edgier. Doesn't make so sense. So everyone says bring back the Attitude Era. We can't bring that back into this day and age especially since we have more kids watching it. Like, yeah, we're going to have the kids on, but we can't make it edgy because we're always going to have those fickle parents bitching about something. So I'm sorry, April. I have to disagree with oh you. Lord. Because if you have kids watching porn every day, they can watch wrestling on Fridays. I'm pretty I, sure I they don't like watch no. porn in front of their parents. Kids they do not watch, watch porn, bro. Uh, they do. How do you know? I was like... To- don't worry about it. Just know I'm good are at what I do. Are you watching kids watching Just porn? Know, why what is watch wrong kids with watch you? Porn? Yo, you are all right. Out of your those mind. are definitely are not. See, Whoa. Nah. Anywho, all right. we're getting back on wrestling. What do you think about this, Sonny? Because I don't know about this whole Friday day thing. So, I'm honestly, I'm kind of confused because the thing is that it all, it's almost as if Fox has a list of things they want, mm-hmm. but it continues to change, <clears throat> especially when, you know, they wanted Ronda to be on SmackDown. Ronda ain't going to be on SmackDown. She's going to be home that been weird. milking goats and ha- trying to have a baby. She's um, on an impreg- yeah. vaca- impregnation. Saturday night sweat. Yeah. Hey, she deserves it. No, that's just going to be every night of the week sweat. Mm-hmm. Ronda, 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 seven, Ronda, day, Ronda. seven day sweat. I got a, I got a <laughs> name for it, guys. It's Ronda, it's Ronda night sweat. Ronda, Ronda night, night sweat. I, I All like, day, I, early day, seven like, days a week. I kind of like the term seven days sweat. Seven days sweat? <laughs> yeah, seven yeah. Seven days of sweat? Yeah. And she deserves it, honestly. She's been working nonstop for years, and she just, give, her the, give the woman a baby. She's good. Yeah. Mama Sita, you deserve it. No, I don't want a baby. All I'm right. good. Never mind. So then um, <laughs> it, it's going to be interesting. Um, I still don't feel like they've released a, 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 a date no. for when it's going to come out, but uh, as we get closer, I think we're going to get some more details. But I know someone who's definitely not going to be on there. Dean Ambrose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my morning period. I've gone through such a morning period with Dean gone. But it's okay. I'm, glad, you, I'm, glad, I'm glad those two words were linked because I was a little confused for a second. But, um, yeah, it's, I don't know. <laughs> He's uh, John Moxley. He, he changed his, his Twitter account. He's gone back to his old gimmick. And one of the funny things is that AEW actually shared it on their uh, Facebook page. So much. And thing. Cody. And also Cody liked it. So moisty. So, yeah. So moisty. Mm. I got to say, that, that promo, oh, my God. I find it funny that WWE <laughs> public, public Relations is still following him, though. I mean, he didn't, I'm pretty sure he didn't leave on, black, on Bad Blood. It was just he didn't want to be with the company anymore. It's, I guess, you know what? Be third, fourth, fifth fiddle or go to AW and possibly be top two, maybe even top three. Well, I'm here for it. So, yeah. There, there's a... The opportunities are definitely there, but um. And everyone keeps saying that this is a work. How I don't understand why this would be a honestly, work. Honestly, I kind of felt like there's a a part of me feels like there is a work involved because I'm wondering if this was a long way around to just kind of take a step back and come back as a character that he missed being. But I don't know how intricate that character was. Because I never really watched him as John Muxley that much. He has done some crazy, crazy shit. During my morning period when Dean left, because I have been through a morning period, of course I would be on YouTube and watch some of his old C- CZW matches. And mm. that man has been through some crazy shit. If you haven't seen any of his matches, he's checked them out. He did this, I think it was an all-out three-way match, and it was just nothing but blood and gashes everywhere. And it was just angry and that John Moxley would not fit into WWE. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You guys should really check his stuff out because, damn, he was great. Speaking of another Dean that is, that's no longer with WWE, Dean Malenko quit the WWE. Wah, wah. He, yeah. was <laughs> he was a backstage agent. He was a booker, an agent, a backstage person, and uh, the man of a thousand holes is no longer with the company. What do you think about that, stuff, huh? <laughs> the way I feel, uh, I mean, I was kind of silent during the whole Dean Ambrose thing because obviously that's 
she's having her morning period, so I wanted to get her. Uh, oh no, my morning her, period is over. Oh, John it's over. Moxley oh, has so Moxley's risen here. It has so me sliding. He's not everywhere. Jesus. The he's fuck is that? He's, he, he's not I don't Jesus. Know that. But you'd think it's the second coming. The way she talks about him. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> because she came God, twice she said that when so she watched it. <laughs> because Jesus she was Christ. sliding. Duh. Oh my god! I slid all over my freaking train right. this morning. Listen, watching that listen, promo. Let, just okay. Listen. Go on, Stefan. Please. Look, all, all I'm saying is, I I think, in terms of Moxley, it's great. He needs to go back to that. I'm I'm keen to stuff in CZW as well. So that's really great. Uh, Dean Malenko leaving. I I mean. I'm really familiar more with his work outside of backstage, so I, I really don't care. Well, uh, the just, thing I'm is that saying. he was responsible for a lot of the good stuff, and when it came to the tag team division, that's what he's been applauded for doing. Okay. So if you're taking someone who was actually responsible for some of the good stuff with tag teams in WWE, and it seems like tag teams are kind of not doing really well in WWE... Not now. It might get a little bit worse. I mean, I think maybe he, I think maybe him quitting had something to do with the Viking Raiders. I, I think that that's probably. I mean, the Viking right. experience. I mean, Viking the, experience. The, the war the, experience. The uh, war raider experience. The the war machine experience. The war machine experience. That's yeah. pretty good. That's a, yeah. a Marvel Actually, reference. I, By the way, guys, really if you like haven't that. seen it, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen Avengers Endgame, guys. This happens to this character. You no, know, guys, we don't do spoilers here. Yeah, yeah no. But <clears> I will say, Endgame was an amazing flick, mm-hmm. and. More importantly, made me realize more about wrestling than I ever thought it would because the way that Endgame was laid out is the way wrestling needs to be laid out where you have multiple storylines that could at any point in time enter, you know, cross paths and make it a bigger event than it is. I have a question. Hey, guys, did you actually hear what happened to the Ant-Man? In the uh, Endgame movie, Ant Man, small why, why, guy why, that gets bigger. Why, why are you bringing up? Ant-Man? We're not talking spoilers, bro. Why would we not bring up Ant Man? Because we're not talking he, the movie. He's small and gets bigger. Yeah, yeah d- dude. Stop. Like my, oh lord. Oh. Okay. oh, okay. That was. Ah, oh, Jesus. That Christ. was. Uh, you were watching the, the wrong End Game, sir. Yeah. No, I know. I, I was watching your End Game. Anyway. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's strike two, sir. The thoughts and opinions of. Just keep them coming. I'm, I'm not going to ever be his, back here. So it's and fine. Do not represent the <laughs> it's, thoughts it's, or opinions it's fine. of Yep, I Like Wrestling or Unpopular Review. It's fine. So, all right, as far as Dean Malenko goes, I, I think there's a high probability that he's going to end up in AEW. And um, it's going to be interesting to see. It, it feels like there is stacking the deck over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of people that seem to be rumored to go over there. And it's going to be interesting, man. <laughs> I'm like, I'm kind of excited about it. I'm actually excited at the fact that Money in the Bank and Double or Nothing is actually the same week. Yeah, yeah. There's so they're, they're seven days very apart, actually. Interesting. And that we're doing cool. a viewing party for both of them. He is there <laughs> at Jack Dempsey's on uh, May 19th, starting at 6 p.m. We're going to be doing our Money in the Bank viewing party. And on Saturday, May 25th, at Jack Dempsey's, we're doing our Double or Nothing viewing party. So make sure you come out to both. And uh, send in your reservations because we're getting actually a lot of uh, a, a big response for both of them. So it's going to be really it's fun. It's going to get super serial, y'all. Yeah, super, I, super, super duper. Serial. If you guys come, you'll see me play Double or Nothing with April. Oh, my God. <sighs> I'm going to have to hire a security guard. Stefan, please get your friend because I can't deal with this man. Yeah. Man, he can't behave himself. I mean, he can't help himself. He's sitting next to a very beautiful woman. so I. I well, have... we're going to have to switch seats because I can't deal with this I life. mean, if you want to switch seats, just try to switch seats with him. I mean, he's still going to be able to see you. He's looking right at you. <sighs> Anywho. And it's kind of crazy because, you know, he has like those eyes just kind of piercing at her. It's like, damn, dude, come on, relax, Seeing bro, straight down. through her soul, like, sort of like white like you've never seen right? a woman before, Through God. a mask. I mean, like, would you describe I mean, well, her as I mean, a caveman? Think about it. The I mean, I get it. I am the Brooklyn Wolf of makeup, but I'm pretty sure you can compose yourself. Like, relax, but, bro. you know, he's also wearing a mask, like, 24-7. So it's not like he's getting a lot of attention. I think his mask is way too tight. Yeah. Oh, well, well. That, come on, that's definite. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's not... I, I don't understand why you guys are insulting me. We're supposed to be insulting the podcast because did you see what Teddy did to, to the guy Chris on Monday night? What did he do? Nothing. I, 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 I don't think, think he did. I'll, 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 he I'll shitted on him. He, he basically pulled down his pants and took a shit on what's, your, what's the name of the place that we work sometimes? The popular reviews? Oh, that. Yeah, that. Hey, you know what? Um, the thoughts and opinions of Teddy are his and they do not necessarily <laughs> represent the thoughts or opinions of Yep, I Like Wrestling. But... 
Monday night, um, unpopular review. I'll allow it. So moving on, did you hear about Kurt Angle? He has signed a five-year deal. And we have been saying that he's going to stay with WWE. And I've been saying this, Grandpa, get out of the ring and do your backstage work. He's really great, and he doesn't need to be in the ring. And he's going to be producing. He's going to be possibly managing in front of the camera. Look at that. He's going to be possibly doing some part-time work. Maybe at, like, some house shows and stuff like that. But the most interesting about thing about this is that this news is released right after him and the Undertaker were pulled from StarCast, which we discussed in the last episode, which was episode yeah, that was crazy. 78. And that was on some, like, uh, that was, you know, shout out to Rosenberg. Nah, so, nah, fam. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, that was a nah, fam. I that whole, was, that whole situation was, was crazy. Yeah. I, I think it's funny because the Undertaker had, Undertaker, you, you know, he must be out of his mind thinking he's going to work outside of Vince right now. Well, like, I mean, Vince he signed with a new, he signed I mean, with he, a, he signed with a different company. He definitely mm-hmm. did. And to, it's to like, and Vince was like, this is like, I'm going to watch you. I'm going to watch you from right here on the porch. Because Vince, that's, that's Vince's money. And that's, he and sees his money Bring that out ass of it. here, boy. Mm-hmm. That's what he said. And then Kurt, Kurt's five year deal, like, I mean, this is, what, this is like he, what he's been waiting for. Well, those, I mean, those deals tend to have kind of like a, a leniency with doing things outside of WWE, but um, I mean, then Dolph but, Ziggler must be on a ten-year deal. But, uh, he's been yeah, because he's been chilling. <laughs> outside, <laughs> he's been chilling for a minute. Like what the fuck? But yeah, where is he? It's about having approved stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, Dolph Ziggler's doing comedy. That shit is no real conflict. If any, if anything, if it's almost as if if he blows up, it's good for WWE. I mean, if he doesn't blow up, oh well. I mean, it's conflict in the sense that you need to just go and do that. Just be over there. Yeah, but it, I mean, it, he's not. He's not. It's co- comedy. He needs yeah. to leave. He just. That's my point. But Undertaker is a huge name, Undertaker and to even see that him trying to go to another event, Vince is seeing a that as money. Event. Another wrestling event. Vince is yeah. like, Wait, oh, April, that's if, money going out the door. Nah, sir, you come back. Well, if here. you're talking about a big name, I'm Olympus Carter. I am supposed to and be on the A show, and they have me here in this rat hole. By the way, Olympus. I'm just saying, I'm a big name here. I just. I don't understand it. Olympus, I think I'm going to start muting your mic if you continue. I mean, you could try to mute my mic. I'll just talk to you. Man, what the fuck? I told him, look, I, I told Chris I don't want to be on this piece of shit. I don't understand why we're here. I have to sit here and deal with this guy. And look at the girl. She's talking. All right, all right. My, Ale- Olympus, 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 mic. Olympus, if I get you some chicken wings, will you chill out? I don't like chicken. I'm a vegan. <laughs> if I, oh, that, you know what? You all right, like me? I'm all right, a vegetarian. all right, all right. Olympus, if I get you some asparagus, will you shut up? Is it April asparagus? Oh my god! You know what? Yeah, I, I'll get you some. No. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Come here, Mama Sita. Mm. Oh my god! All right. I like this. This can't be life. All right, this, so this let's let, let's disgusting. keep on. Yeah, let's keep on let's going. Your so anyway, let's talk about Monday Night Wrestling program. They're stalking. Yeah, let's just move on. So uh, the Monday Night Wrestling program started off with Alexa Biss. Uh, Alexa Biss, you hear me? Uh, Alexa bitch. <laughs> <laughs> According to some, she might be. But Alexa Bliss uh, revealing who the Raw Men's Money in the Bank participants are going to be. And um, how you guys feeling about Ricochet, Braun Strowman, Drew McIntyre, and Baron Corbin? <laughs> Being on the raw side of the Money in the Bank match. I, Ricochet, I can – there's some arguments for Ricochet. If you're pushing Aleister Black on SmackDown and they used to be a tag team, I think you should be pushing Ricochet on Raw. That's that's a given. To We're going to get to Aleister Black in a minute because that's Cor- a whole different exactly. story. Yeah. But yeah. To have Corbin in that match at all is fuckery on the highest of fucking Why levels. is it fuckery? It's fuckery because, I mean – He's been given shots. He's mm-hmm. been he's held the money in the bank briefcase and lost it already. I think mm-hmm. there are arguments for other people. Drew McIntyre. I can completely understand why you got McIntyre in there. McIntyre yes. is the undisputed future of the WWE. He needs to be the first Scottish champion. So for me, there's arguments for him. Braun Strowman. I don't think he needs to have another go with another fucking briefcase because he didn't do shit with his either. No, he's just big. So I mean, and, and who else are you gonna put in there? I mean, so here here's I mean so here's the thing, you have. Ricochet for the flippy shit. You have uh, Braun Strowman and uh, for like the bruiser moments. You have the same for Drew. No, I mean, well, no. You have Drew, Drew, and Baron Corbin are actually your favorites to win the match on the Raw side, and that's when it comes to the Raw side. What do you think about this, April? Um, it's different. I'm here for it. Like I said, like 
Stefan said, I have no idea why Baron Corbin is in here. We are tired of him. We have so much talent, and they keep pushing him down our throats, so I'm over it. When it comes to the Raw side, I'm definitely rooting for Drew. They have pushed him over. They've been pushing him since last SummerSlam, and I think it was two or three opportunities and did absolutely nothing with him. And I want to I want to see him with the belt. I feel like he's going to be a great champion. He's a fantastic heel, and I'm here for it on the Raw side. Um, Ricochet, they're pushing him hard, and you know what? I'm thank God said he's not here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't know. I'm still. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Ricochet. I feel like he's getting pushed way too fast. Since I know he's been on the roster for the past four months and, you know, winning all these matches and shit with Aleister Black. And he does need to um, make himself known as a single competitor. But I don't know. I'm, it's still, I don't know. I guess once the months, I think it's when the weeks go by, I guess he'll grow on me. All right. And I'm going to ask Olympus, what do you think? Why do I give a fuck? Noted. Cool. Moving on. <laughs> then we had the raw, the raw men's co- participants who were going to be in the Money in the Bank had a match, and uh, huh. Braun Strowman and Ricochet, which I just find that as an odd pairing. Another either. team, little big. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Biggie Smalls. Uh, mm-hmm. They defeated Drew McIntyre and Baron Corbin in a in a tag team match. Mm-hmm. That match is all right. Mm-hmm. Do you have a problem, sir? No. Cool. Why? why anyway, why do we have to watch? This shit every week. <laughs> you know what? That's the first thing Who he knows? said that I actually agree with. <laughs> <laughs> I, if, yeah. if, if Ron, if they, they act like if Ron Strowman's outside on t- not on TV, that the product's gonna fail. Like, come on, guys. Like, and and Ricochet, you just spoke about Ricochet being pushed too hard. I mean, too 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 hard. Like, forced down your throat. You know. Oh, I mean, I'm here for all Christ. of that, but not for Raw. I, mean, so. I, was, I was gonna help you with that, but never mind. <laughs> anyway, all I'm saying is that. It's just, it's just too much, too much, too much, and nobody wants to see Corbin in the ring, no. especially next to Drew McIntyre. McIntyre could have been in a handicap match, and I would have loved it. But what about you, Stefan? <sighs> I fucking abhor Baron Corbin. <laughs> Why the fuck? Abhor. I fucking abhor. He's a, he's a fucking. You dread tragedy. him. He's a fucking tragedy. He's a plague. He's Shout what out bad to dreams. Kevin Wood. He hey. is fucking what bad dreams are fucking made of. Why the fuck is he on He's my Freddy screen Kruger? every week? No. <laughs> Freddy, if Freddy Krueger was in my dreams, I think that shit is pretty cool because he's a big name in my dream. But this guy, Baird he's, Corbin. he's literally what people literally go and chuck their TVs out the window for. Like, I, I don't but understand. But you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Where's Cannon when you need him? <laughs> you know, if Kevin, if, Hit my music! <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, we do need Kevin Wood here right, here right now, <laughs> yeah. who's, I think, on his way uh, for a nice little inter- international trip. But uh, you know what? I will say this. Um, Baron Corbin, who's been getting this level of heat from fans like you, is actually doing his fucking job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Congratulations on doing your fucking job. Just do it off the TV screen. Seriously. I mean, Dana Brooks does her fucking job, and she's been off TV for like 10 years. That Fuck. poor woman. Someone else that was off TV for like 10 years. Uh, Luke Gallows and Carl Henderson, they took on the <sighs> Usos. And um, too I Too sweet. Sw- whoop, whoop. Too, too sweet. sweet. Whoop, whoop. No, that was a sarcastic too sweet. No. So where the don't fuck disrespect have they been? Me. All right. Yo, check this out. Their promo to start the episode, so to, start, to start that segment, um, them and the Usos, it was bad. And, and bad in the sense that I felt like it wasn't the Good Brothers versus the Usos. It felt like... The Aryan brothers versus the brothers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there was a real kind of like... You mean like Teddy a, on Unpopular Reviews? That You mean something like that, right? I don't know what you're talking about. But, okay. like, there was some real <laughs> jail reference to that shit. It was like, you know, they look like the, the Aryan skinheads, and you had the Usos. They were the... In good, the penitentiary, oh, and no, the, the Good Brothers penitentiary. Yeah, that yeah. was that. Nah, that, that, that shit felt like the, the Aryan penitentiary. penitentiary. They said that. Did I that was, feel sexy leaving your mouth? No, it really that didn't. Felt, that's that's terrible. Yeah, that yeah. was just no. that was terrible. They violating my fellow Bullet Club members. Like, come yeah. on, fellow, you were on the Bullet Club too. She's yeah. not in the Bullet Club. She's, oh. she's, you don't know just, that. <laughs> you don't know my life. <laughs> I, I found out about her. Stefan's been telling me, shut up. He don't know my life either. Okay. I just met him like 90 days ago. All Shit. Right. <laughs> it's like I met her three months ago. It's a three-month trial, and I want to return her to where she came from. It's Thank just you. like right now. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. But that match was, no. That was no. Yeah, nah. It, no. it was, uh, it's got, you know what I'll actually say? It was actually the Usos 
worst match in a long time. Yeah. And that's that's kind of sad because you know they it, turned they basically it, turned the beginning into a concert and I'm not gonna front I got hyped because I really loved their theme song, <laughs> but yeah, yeah it really was because they killed it when they were on SmackDown and now they moved it onto Raw and it's like now it's the same thing with the whole tag team division they have absolutely have no idea what they're doing with them. Yeah. I said this a while ago. I said that I'm afraid for people who are moving from SmackDown to Raw because there's just so much talent going into Raw mm-hmm. that they are going to fuck up somewhere. And this is just a prime example of maybe Dean Malenko leaving that mm. the tag team division is looking like shit. You have Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson who in New Japan were fucking phenomenal. Like Machine yeah. Gun. Oh my god. I can't tell you how phenomenal they were. And, and then fucking bringing them here, WWE, and they suck. The Usos coming up from SmackDown where they're decorated champions and fucking sucking. Yeah. And the Revival, true. like, literally on their ass, it says what I think of the Revival. Fuck the Revival. Like, at this Ooh. point, it's just, it's, it's done. It's The Dream Team is dead. Just just give up. There's, there's got to be some serious changes to, the, to, to, like, especially the tag team division, just on both shows. Because there's a lot of talent, but there's a lot of fucking up, man. No reason. They need to get the Infinity Stones and turn back time because this shit is this shit is terrible. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> terrible. That was so bad. This next match, oh, uh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I let, hate it. I just want to put it out there that I really hated Raw this well, week. Let, well, let's let's start off with with the the segment that preceded it, which was Yo. Uh, Miz TV, <laughs> and it's like. Again, I preach this shit every single time. Mm-hmm. Nuances, nuances, nuances. And The Miz should have some different flair going on as a babyface. He's rocking the same shit that he was rocking as a heel. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, he's over, but it's one wrong move from being a bad gimmick. But, Sonny, I mean, if you're good at what you do, why not do it? He's good at what he does, but he's not that good. He's he, he can easily get. It's getting watered down little by little. It, it's not just watered down. She it's said watered down. <laughs> oh God, how is that dirty? Oh, think got about it. it. Think Slide about it. it. Yeah. Ah, oh, exactly. God. got it. There you go, Sonny. There you go. Watered down. Take a take a sip of the the drink. You've earned it. One, two, three, sip. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hate you. Hey, all three of you. <laughs> All right. What the fuck did I, <laughs> I do? I didn't do anything. I just, I've been sitting here. Well, you know what? Th- those are your cohorts, so you get thrown in with, with the other two. I did not put any word that Olympus was going to join my team. She's, I'm completely no, no, against she's this shit. She's the golden child. She has Teddy's love. Exactly. Remember the love of the mother. Yes, that's Uncle Teddy right Which there. Which means Teddy's the mother? Uh, exactly. I mean, uh, the mother uh, of, yep, I like wrestling. Ooh. Uh, that makes me, now, you know what? Then I'm the grandfather, because I ain't, I ain't definitely not the father. You'll be daddy? I ain't, de- I ain't definitely ain't the <laughs> daddy. So no, Kervin's the father. No, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Cur- Better curving than you, right? Mm. Yeah, you know what? Shit, fuck that. I'll allow it. I mean, it's Teddy Fox, <laughs> fine. Okay, hey, hey, lady. But I don't think I don't think either one of them would, would, either either one of them would allow it. So, hey, uh, I mean, I'd watch the tape. You're the, you don't have to check in with them, but you know, you're. You know what? I I am just the, I am just the CEO. That's it. Moving on. What um, is Bobby Lashley doing? And why is he speaking? Oh, because Leo well, Rush got he. He put that on himself. Yeah, because basically they have like a backstage protocol where, you know, if you're a youngin, you know, it's it's kind of like think about it if if like you're playing basketball. If you're a rookie, there are kind of rookie criteria you got to do. Maybe you ha- it's to wash a veteran's car or take out pick pick up the groceries on the road trip or or something like that. But it's a it's a way to show respect to your elders that are veterans that are above you, and it's paying your dues. You know, it's not like you're getting hazed and shit like that. But from it's the little things that he got to build to get the respect that yeah he deserves. So what's going on is the fact that he's not doing those little things to show respect, and he's bitching about it on top of that. So I mean, this is you know this is just from reports that we've read mm-hmm. of what's going on, but um, it's not a good look for him. And the thing is, he was kind of in a position to. Be on the rise, man. I mean, yeah. For- I mean, um, I think I read somewhere that Finn, that Finn Balor pulled him to the side to tell him, like, dude, you need to tone it down, like, trying to help him out, and he was just basically blowing it off, like, wow. You need he needs to chill. It's like what you said, you know. It does those little things, but you have to put your name out there. Yeah, he was a name on Two Hundred Five Live, but this is not Two Hundred Five Live. No, nah, it's far a, from it. This being is the a main big, roster. Exactly, being a big fish in a in a 
in a small pond means nothing when you're just another fish in a really big pond. Mm-hmm. You know, and so he got to cut the shit. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, for me, I just looking at his gimmick. I mean, some people live out their gimmicks. Like, let's take Enzo for instance. Mm-hmm. Enzo is doing the same shit backstage as he was doing on stage. So it's like it's Not necessarily. sort of the same. It was. It was. A little, he was. He, from what I was hearing, he was like being a little extra on, on some of the shit he was I doing. Mean, Clearly, but I mean, at the same time, you have Leo Rush, who is an amazing performer. I'm not taking nothing away oh, no, from he's Leo. Great in the ring. If you're around raw talent like the roster has, my ideology would be learn, be a student mm-hmm. of the game. Like whenever somebody talks about Triple H, they were like, "Hey, Triple H, in the back, he's the person that wants to learn the most. He was the person that didn't cause the most problems. He, even though he's riding with the Click and DX, who are all doing their own shit." Triple H was the one that was, like, calming people down and literally being the voice of reason. So, I mean, I would think that if you're back there with such talent and you're try- you, you try to learn. You try to it, it, That's what you're supposed well, to do. But you know what? The, mean, the thing is some that some, some people – it's not so much that people aren't smart. People – some people don't understand the culture of paying your dues. Mm-hmm. It, it, it happens. I've been around it myself where there's some people that feel like they're entitled to more than, than what they should. And it's just a matter of – there's a way you kind of go about things and and a way you show respect to those before you. And he needs to cut the shit because Vince could easily be like, you know what, you have to go to 205 Live and be in the corner. Actually, I, I don't actually, think- I, I don't think that's that big of a deal. I think it's more so like, your ass could be just sent home and have your contract extended until we want, you, we want to call you back. That's worse. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, we'll see what happens, how this thing turns around but I mean the dude was in a particularly cool situation but uh, you know Lashley got into a match with The Miz and then uh, Shane McMahon came out and attacked The Miz with the help of Bobby Lashley and obviously that's led to now they're gonna have a, a steel cage match at Money in the Bank. Just another fucking thing that we have to watch that we don't want to see. Honestly, I think that's I mean, going to be I pretty good. See it. I don't want to see it. I, I mean, I want to see I, it. I like their match at WrestleMania. I thought that the superplex from the top of the scaffolding was mwah, But mm-hmm. I don't know. Mama Sita, what do you think? I'm here for it. You know, the feud with Shane and Miz has been great. I don't know what is it with Shane and these daddy issue things because he basically just keeps fucking around with Miz's father. <laughs> and I don't, I don't understand what's his daddy issues. And bitching situation. about his father getting fucked up too. Yeah, because he's over here like, oh well, Roman hit my dad. Um, you're antagonizing this poor old man that you Aww. almost killed at WrestleMania. Like, leave him alone. But you know, my I, favorite, my I like favorite saying, I'm here my, for it. My favorite saying was about he looked like a big potato. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that he really did. Shit. And, uh, and to me, I. I'm a Shane McMahon fan, and I'm a Miz fan. Uh, I obviously at WrestleMania we were um, at parts on uh, we were at Jack Dempsey's yeah. for uh, the viewing party, and just the energy in the room when that match was going on. The match they put on was amazing. It was they, a great it was match. A, it was a fucking spectacle, and it, I like the match. What they fucking pulled out of the Miz because the Miz isn't seen as somebody that's like a really great wrestler. Like some people are like he's better on the mic and. Pulling out a superplex from top of a scaffolding, like you knew Shane was gonna jump off of some shit, but the Miz pulling that out and losing, like I'm interested to see where this story. Well, he goes. had to lose. And, he did and, to continue and, through SummerSlam. And, yeah. and the funny thing is that that night with uh, MVP, and we were talking about it. And he was actually pissed off that I mean, not pissed off, but he was disappointed that uh, the Miz didn't go over. And he said, "Why did Shane go over in that match?" And and we actually were disagreeing about it because I was like, I personally felt. That it made sense for for Shane to go over because it's so early in the feud at that point. Shane has to go over in order to continue it. But if they weren't gonna continue it, yeah, it makes sense for for Miz to go fun. over. But um, you know that's. I'm loving the feud though. I like the feud too. You know, I I I'm not entirely sold on Shane being a heel at the moment. Cause I, I'm still, I still want to. I think, I think it's because I still want to cheer for him. Cause I, I keep on popping for his sneakers, but uh, you know, I'm a sneakerhead, man. I can't help it. But uh, you know, it, it is what it is. It's, you know, it's there, but it's not. But you know what's really not there is the Viking Raiders. <laughs> I ref- the War Raiders. I refuse to call them by that name. I rather Viking refer to them as Viking. the War Machine. Raiders. The match was oh, goodness. decent. It was a squash match, mm-hmm. you know, with the Lucha House experience. <laughs> and, um, 
you know, I just I still crack up at the whole name changes, man. It's just what it's so distracting doing? from it's it's distracting from how good they really are. Yes. So, they were amazing on NXT. Like why? I mean I get it, you can't promote war and this is a PG show, or whatever, but now they sound like a, a bootleg football team. This is the same company that promoted Bois and Penny matches for almost 10 years. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't give a fuck. You know what? For me, you know I, what? I don't know. You know what, Olympus? I'll allow it. Thank you so, so yeah. much. I mean, you have a great team like the World Raiders. You turn them to the Viking Raiders. You put them in a match against the Lucia House Party experience. For what reason? It just to beat a bunch of me- Mexican people and and yeah 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 you you, you, you be careful and they were Mexican wearing, and people, and, and, Mexican and, and, people and, and, do all the dirty jobs that Americans don't want to do so fuck you America whoa <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> whoa you know what so- speaking now that we're bringing up Mex- now that we're bringing up Mexicans by the time you're hearing this you are either about to or are or have already celebrated Cinco de Mayo or LA. Ole, ole, hey. ole, cha cha. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Woo! Ole, muchachos. So, uh, okay, just can know. Can order horchata? I mean, I like horchata and tacos right now. I feel like it's. Damn, that more. just sounds kind of good. All right, you That's know what? Right you know what? How about this? Um, when we're done here, I, I know this really great freaking truck down on 14th Street. We'll go over there later. Look he's at you. Still not paying you. Just remember, he's buying you food. It's still something. It's Stefan's already fat. He does not need more food. Damn. Look no, at him. Yo. Look really. at him. Abel, turn around. Look at him. He's a fat so. Why are you being mean? What did he do to you? You know what, you son of a bitch? I, 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 I'll I, actually allow it. Thank you. I'll allow it. Not the I'm fat part, but no, the whole. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Yes. So let's get back to it. The Viking Raiders taking on Lucha House Party. I thought it was... A squash, but it wasn't. There was some impressive stuff that happened. I'm not here for. Ra- I'm not here. I'm not here for the War Raiders new thing because they. I see them getting buried. They already got buried with these name changes. I just. I don't know what they're gonna do with them. To be it's funny how they got buried while they're burying other people. So <laughs> it's very true. What about you, Stefan? What do you think? Uh, I, I have no interest in seeing the Lucha House Party at all, Same. and I have no interest in the. Viking Raiders new experience. Name. I, just, I, I have no interest in their new name, so I have no interest in them by default. So gotcha. like, that's it. This is it's sad. It really is. Yeah, no, nah, it's definitely getting there. How about you, Olympus? They looked at them and called them lunch. Oh shit! Damn. Oh yeah, because they're big. Exactly. <laughs> like Stefan. Oh, <sighs> so uh, don't worry about Stefan. I'm still gonna get you a taco. So uh, <laughs> then Alexa Bliss. Talked about who's going to be in the Money in the Bank for the women's match. And uh, any surprises on that one? Ugh, Natalia got to go home. <laughs> Why do they keep pushing this woman? I don't get it. Why are you Just, hitting? They have nothing. When was the last time she got the belt? It doesn't matter. Why are you hitting? Thank you. Long time ago. Exactly. Hitting? I'm not hating. You're it's, hitting a point. Oh, well. my God. What, do, you like, I, do you like Natalia? I, look, I agree with you that... Natalia needs to sit her ass at home. Like, yes, she had her moment at the Hall of Fame this year, and That's honestly, it. to honor, honor her father, and I, I feel like that should be enough. It's time for her to go backstage. We're talking about the old guard moving backstage. Her, Beth Phoenix, and the rest of them old ass people need to go backstage and start producing and making some of these superstars that don't know their fucking gimmick. Hashtag Dana Brooks. Uh, oh wow! Like they keep putting Natalia as like whenever they talk about the women's evolution, like oh yeah, Natalia was there when it began. We already know this because we already spoke about it about Natalia five thousand times. Natalia is the ground that the women's evolution is built on top of. That's what she is. She is the fucking foundationary player. And that's after it. After a while, the, you never you don't see the foundation anymore. You just see the structure that's built on top of it. Mm-hmm. Natalia just needs to go. She was just there, and they're not doing anything with her, and she's not going to win. Dana Brooke. I see that they're trying, but it's not working. If she I, wins I'm still, that, I'm still kind of like blown away by how she looks so different. <laughs> she looks like a duck. Drugs are a terrible thing. Oh, well, don't say she's on drugs. Those still thoughts and opinions of <laughs> Stefan Duviela, <laughs> they don't necessarily represent the, the views or they opinions. They don't necessarily represent the views and opinions, but it means slightly. No. So you say don't necessarily, so he's like using a little oh, lingo like that. Oh, <laughs> just maybe. saying, sir. All right, well, anyway. Yeah. So um, Alexa Bliss. Come on, that shit was a given. I, she hasn't been in the ring in a while. 
and they don't know what to do with her. I guess the whole moment of listening is dying down a well, bit. No, but this is the perfect oh. time to bring her in. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's no, there's no other storyline in there. So, yeah, put her in now. Definitely. And honestly, she's actually one of two favorites that I have winning this match. Well, she already won. That's my mama. Yeah, it doesn't matter. She can oh. win all it, the it, money in the bank. Her winning, huh. her winning is almost like her gimmick if she wins it again. Yeah, I guess. You know? And um, Naomi's in it, and I'm for it. Yeah, I love Naomi. Days. Oh I'm my sorry. god, I just that gotta ass. be real. I'm sorry. Like, that ass. Naomi and Bailey. Jesus Christ. That ass. Just like ass, so her ass crazy. is like a pillow. Like I want to sleep on. Like it looks so like damn. So yeah, then Bray Wyatt <laughs> revealed the word my, of the day. My fireflies, man. Uh, I love this so much. Oh my goodness. I the love sociopath. this sociopath. I love this gimmick. Yo, by the way. Word of the day, sociopath, can be no better of a word to go to Olympus Carter. Mm-hmm. He's finally trying to give me something. You see how he's trying to gift us things You'll and be all right. not pay us. He's giving us things we don't want. See, you're the only yeah. one that's bitching about getting paid. I got a chicken wing, so I'm good. Yeah, oh, exactly. Somebody throw something in your mouth and you're all good. Yep. Anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> I want this um, Bray Wyatt gimmick to go on, I want to say. Personally, I want it to go on for about two more weeks, and then he can come out. I don't want us to go along a little too long. My biggest fear is that this gimmick tanks. That's the yeah, only I'm thing. I'm so scared it's about like, that. Because, like, there have been moments in the past where we've seen something that, that looks like it's going to be really great, and then it just falls short. So, I mean, hopefully it doesn't. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it got a it. huge reaction. Like, a lot of positive, a lot of negative. A lot of people are like, I'm so confused. What is going on? I mean, if you've been yeah, following well, Bray Wyatt when he first got there and the way he plays it off, yeah. yeah, we have this little Mr. Rogers Blues Clues thing. But because he is a sociopath, we're going to feed into it. I am completely fed into it, and I want more. Yeah. But so think he about got this. Me. I mean, in terms of negative reaction, when they did the House Hardy thing on TNA – the Hardy Boys got a negative reaction, but it was the most talked about thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on TNA, and they were able to bring that across to WWE. Because it was different. Exactly, because it was different. And so this that's was actually the same thing with Bray trending Wyatt. on Twitter for a while. Still it is. was number eight at, by, at, during last week's episode. It that. Was, at that time, it was number eight trending. He's, he's trending just a horde. fat guy talking to kids. I don't understand. He's just a fat guy <laughs> talking he's like to children. He's like mini Rusev. Like he's like short, like Rusev, but he has like he's stocky, like bronze. Are you blind? Uh, well, he could get it. That's Daddy right there. Right, no, Jojo's so getting it. <laughs> well, she already got it. Yeah, that's why she so. has a kid. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and we high fives all around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, then we had Naomi defeating Alexa Bliss, which uh, speak of all that ass. Yo. I mean, like just that re <laughs> that rear view, bro. <laughs> Bro. I can't watch a match with Naomi because I'm just going to be staring at her ass. Like, yeah, she's great, I'm sorry, but damn. When, when, when women say that guys just naturally stare at their boobs, like, I'm sorry. Like, if I'm watching a Naomi or a Bailey match, I just... It's just, right just there. It's like cake. It's and just, as a straight woman, I can't take my eyes off it. I'm sorry. It's just... I'm with it. Me too. I'm with it. <laughs> I'm, sure so, I'm sure Sonny watches the match. He oh, does yeah. watch the match. You know, he has to watch the match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he cannot watch anything else but the match. Oh, yeah. No, I definitely watch the match. Only the match. <laughs> Only the match. <laughs> oh, I definitely watch the match. Um, I, might have, I might have watched the match, that you ass. know, in real time and in slow reverse. Mo. And in reverse as I rewinded it. <laughs> I, and then again in slow motion. So, anyway. but uh, I mean, I could get three or four or five, ten watches out of that. Just, um, yeah. Mm, damn. It's, it's great. Anyways, right, um, but, I liked, uh, it was a good match overall. I liked it. Yeah. So then, uh, then we had Becky Two Belts come out, hey. and yo, she got into it with Lacey Evans, and yeah, I thought that shit was kind of <sighs> ill. Um, I kind of like the the pull apart, even though I just saw it, you know, like a couple of months ago with uh, Charlotte. I mean, it's it's <laughs> baby Charlotte. What do you expect? It's oh, a, baby I'm Charlotte. I'm just saying, like, she's like, Man. you know, nature boy was naturing around uh, North Carolina, you know, <laughs> where Lacey Evans is from. So, you, you know, know that's, that's a Charlotte's funny joke. Sister. That's a funny joke. I heard that somewhere else before. I'm sure you hmm. did. Oh, yeah. On the was... Twitter machine that no. you use on your blog, your no, brick no, that you call no. a phone. You know, the old people have the... No, I'm sorry, phone. sir. It was actually on the Yep, I Like Wrestling podcast. But uh, <laughs> moving it's, on. He's accusing me of stealing. No, just plagiarizing. But uh, moving <laughs> on, um, then we had the Raw Tag Team Champions, Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins, which I still can't believe. Yo, still I forgot the that they had the belts. Yeah. Damn. Actually, you know what? When their music hit, I was like, who the hell is this? <laughs> and this is your Raw Tag Team Champions of the World. I'm like, 
I honestly thought the revival was still tag team yeah. champions. And it when it was when it wasn't the revival, I was like, huh? What the hell? Oh, nah, the revival these guys were, still got it. Nah, I'm sorry. The revival were too busy shaving each other's fucking backs to be fucking champions. That was uh, fucking terrible. Yeah. That, that was fucking a lot. Terrible. Yeah. Those fucking, poor guys. Like not, not those poor guys. I mean, no. I, I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm cool. The, the, the no. funny, the funny shit is terrible. That that was a work shoot that I've ever seen one because I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure I've read stories about. Dudes doing that shit in 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 the locker room. They're like, no. "Yo, I gotta get ready for a match. Can't shave my back." Yeah, <laughs> but they were. Read hey, that's shit. really wonderful. That's great. But it's like yeah, it didn't need to, be to on put TV. it on TV. I mean, like yeah. there's just certain things that are not. I mean, unless you're Teddy, you you, you know, obviously you like that kind of shit. Hey, but I mean, we hey. asked for change, and this is what we got. <laughs> I mean, unless a bliss's moment of bliss was change. Naomi coming to Raw, doing it Raw was change. The revival shaving each other's back. That's that's. Ugh. Sorry, Teddy. I wasn't a fan of that. It was weird. Yeah. It was a, it was really weird. It was definitely but very weird. I didn't watch this match because look, yeah, no. Another thing that was kind of weird was Sami Zayn uh, coming out to the crowd, talking about <laughs> he's taking the power back from the WWE universe. <laughs> like, wait, who the wait. fuck is he? Daniel? All of a sudden, I'm sorry. He's I fucking smell, collecting. I s- I'm sorry. I smell Daniel Bryan. That's yes, what this story like fucking exactly smells. It's Daniel is. Bryan yeah. fucking Jr. Daniel this Bryan is- got injured. So we call Sami Zayn, like, you're good on the mic. I want you to talk for 15 no, minutes. But Insert is, here. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. It's like, it's like that person in your class, and when you're taking your exam, that person just leans over and is like, yo, don't copy it completely, but they copy it exactly the same way. That's exactly what the fuck Sami Zayn did. Yeah. He I, came I, back on some real... Butthurt shit. Exactly. Like, yo, fuck the fans. And, and, like, and, my and way over here. Daniel Bryan's at home happy. scratching so his... So leave. <laughs> we basically went, came from Captain Planet destroying our planet. To Sami Zayn basically bitching about how the WWE universe ain't shit. It's good. It's wonderful. I, I agree completely. I mean, I loved it we are the fickle. first time. We, we deserve to be heckled because we heckle. We... I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie. This is bullshit. I hate it. I mean, I loved it the first time, but now it's getting annoying. Because they it. don't know what to do with him. I mean, put him in match with Kevin Owens because that's all yeah, he does. Please, he gets in uh, match with Kevin Owens. That's all he can do. I don't do. want to see that anymore. Please Put stop. him in the money in the bank. Why can't Sami Zayn have his moment? No, 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 no. Let's just... just no let Sami Zayn anymore. You know what? I, I, I just you know hope what? they know what they're doing with this because okay. I don't know. Okay. This yeah, is the I, third I, week in a row he's bitching. I wonder who he's going to take on. Look, but, yeah. for, for me, it's just... He comes out week after week, and he just berates the crowd. And I feel like this is probably secretly Vince in the back. Like, all the shit that he wants to say about us, him finally getting to channel it through Sammy. Just like, these motherfuckers. <laughs> like, <laughs> you sons of bitches. Yeah, he's talking I'm all giving this you shit. everything you like, want. He's talking all this shit, but at the same time, we're the ones that are buying the shirts. We're going to the matches. We're going to these photo shoots. We're doing all this stuff. So he could talk all this shit about how fickle we are. But at the end of the well, day, well, we're putting money in his but damn I mean, pocket. we are fickle. Like, let's be of honest. Of course we, we are. are. Fickle, but we're allowed to be. If I'm spending over $800, shout yeah, out to Patrick. But, okay, no, but it's for, true. For WrestleMania, here, here, here's my I, problem. I'm allowed to be fickle. Here's my problem. All right. We're paying to be fickle. What, what, what I, to be fickle. Yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> I do agree is that I feel like the fans of now are too quick to bitch mm-hmm. and not let the story just ride out. Because there have been a lot of great pairs. Like, dude, if you look at look at some of the old feuds that are fondly remembered, there was a lot of shitty moments. But right. you needed those mm-hmm. shitty moments in order to get to those big payoffs. So it's, you know, what it is is that the, the time we live in now with all the social media – those people that bitch just have more platforms to bitch on. That's what, it, that's what it comes down I'm to. I'm just hoping that this is not something that, okay, they're going to have him bitching. And the same thing with Bray Wyatt, go to failure. Like, I want to know where they're going to go with this and who Sami Zayn's going to have a feud with. Yeah. Like, who is going to come out and be like, shut up, if, and then they do their thing. If it's Bobby Lashley, I slip my waist. Yo. <laughs> it ain't going to be Bobby Lashley. No, because the, the man, oh, no, my God. no yeah. I don't talk about him. <laughs> All right, let's, let's <laughs> move on. <laughs> Moving on. We have Rey Mysterio. Booyaka, booyaka, 619. I love this. Defeating Samoa Joe with a very awkward looking pin. <laughs> Can I we just sw- talk about I, how I, Dominic does not look like his son? Yeah, we'll get to <laughs> that. <laughs> I just want to say that. Can it look, Dominic you is, know what? Before we get to that, can it look like, can we just talk about how it looked like Ray was trying to impregnate Samoa Joe with another Dominic? Yo, that was a lot. It that was, was a lot of ass. <laughs> it was, it was, yo, it was missionary position for real. I mean, I don't, I don't. 
pay attention to stuff like that. You have no, no, no. That shit no, looks was, really. It looked really he had awkward. Him over, like, like, like over. You know, like you, over or under a pole? Which one do you like better? Uh, no, but Ray was on top doing the thing. Yeah, like you know what's funny? It was like I was watching it, and you know how you kind of give that that slow like. Mm, that slow. You mean that what nod, the fuck that, look? Though? That what slow. The fuck? That yeah, but the what the fuck look with a slow nod? No, they just like mm, no. nah. But you can't stop watching because you know you gotta get to the next match. So it's like no. It was more like I can't believe this is actually happening. Why is this happening? And then they, and then the match ended. So yeah, it was just very awkward, very weird, and it's, it's I, not cool. I don't think we should talk about it ever again. So let's move on. I don't think we're going. No, Seth but Rollins. I just thought it was oh, so shit. cute. <laughs> Why the way are you talking Dom, about like, it? No, but I just want to point out. You thought out it how, was cute. I thought she it was so cute when Dom like put Ray on his shoulders. Like, I thought that was the cutest moment ever. It looked like he was trying to impregnate him. No, it was just so cute. Can I ask a question? Why right. the fuck do I care about a non wrestler? Like, what the fuck is Dominic now, Ray Mysterio's manager or something? Because why the fuck is he here? Because he what? wants to be there. Why, why do we why, care? Why are you saying, why is Dom there? Why do we care? Oh, because, yeah, because Dominic is going to be. Um, a wrestler? Do- well, that and also I think they're going to be uh, – Dominic and Ray are going to be on Maury soon because uh, to find out that he is not the father. Word, who, I want to know where he got this height from because Eddie his mom is not it's that Eddie's tall. It's Eddie's son. It's Eddie's son. Well, they did have a custody battle match. They did so. have a- Eddie's son or Kane's son because he's, he's – That dude is looking like Glenn Jacobs and shit, bro. I mean, hey, look. I don't uh, know, man. Vicky got all kinds of things in her. Vicky. Wrong woman. Oh, oh. And the thoughts and opinions of Stefan and Olympus <laughs> – do not represent the thoughts or opinions of Yep, I Like Wrestling. Oh, my God. This might be my second claimed episode. Uh, you I haven't, haven't gotten a disclaimer. No, the just because you mean? don't get a disclaimer doesn't mean you get claimed. You don't April, that. you're part of the group, so you get no. a disclaimer. It's unpopular reviews yeah. versus Yep. So you get a disclaimer. As many disclaimers have I it, gotten. It's not, it's not really versus because it's not a competition them. like that. But, uh, we're not sharing disclaimers. But Until they, we get they, a they, shirt, it's a competition. Yeah, well, not yeah, really. Okay. Actually, no, not really. Okay. But disclaimers do rub off on you. So, moving on. Uh, Seth. Go oh, away. God. Seth Rollins and AJ Styles signed their Universal Championship match contract. I I feel like this was the moment of the night. It was why I turned on my TV at eight o'clock, turned it off until ten fifty-five, just to watch AJ Styles phenomenal for um. Seth Rollins. It's That's not because you just got home at 10.55 and was just like, fuck it, I'm going to watch the last five minutes? No. Oh. I don't get home at 10.55. Right, 10.54. So, yeah, <laughs> um, I I don't know. I'm here, it's, for, it's, I'm here for it. So, like, this match is going to be amazing, mm-hmm. but uh, I was listening to, matter of fact, I was listening to Cheap Heat with Peter Rosenberg and Stat Guy Greg. Shout out to both of them. Damn. And they brought up something that made me just say, wow, that makes sense. This is a thing, this particular feud that they're having just doesn't have a story to it. It's just, I want the belt. That's it. Yeah. It's like, you got it. I want it. Give me. Yeah. But the thing <laughs> is that there's, it's, it's getting redundant. It's insert this wrestler versus insert this champion. It's. I mean, we, I'm, actually, I'm looking forward to this match. Like I said, um, Seth Rollins and AJ. They never had a match in WWE. I don't know if they fought outside of it. And yes, they have Tyler Black and uh, AJ uh, Styles have fought. See? Yeah, this is this is why I have you around. So, so, so I get my knowledge. My, my thing is, it's it's a great way to give the WWE Universe a dream match mm-hmm. at the not having the expense of having a long drawn out storyline. Do I think AJ is going to close in on that Universal Championship and win it? That's to be seen. I, I mean, I, I would love to see AJ Styles Universal Champion. Not yet. But it's too it's, soon. It's too though. soon. Exactly. Not yet. So I mean, if if it Carries on to SummerSlam, I see AJ getting that championship. Okay. So mm-hmm. it's it's something that it could turn into a major storyline feud and potential for the club to get involved because you, you see the reemergence of Luke uh, Gallows and Carl Anderson. Mm-hmm. So we'll see where it goes. But, I mean, this has Dream Match written all over it. So Yes or no? Do you see AJ turning heel anytime soon? I mean, he, he kind of had a small bit of a, you know – He'll turn on Monday night. So I, I would like to say that, yeah. Yes or no? It's, it's going to, yeah. yeah. Okay. See, I, I got to say, yeah, he was, he was bringing it out little by little. That and fire, that fire. I'm, I'm with it. I'm tired of seeing AJ as a face. I, I want to see, see AJ cut his fucking hair. I'm sorry. I just yeah. yeah, he has to trim it a little bit because it's nah. just I think, too I, I think we all we, we I think we all feel that same. I can't, about it's hair. the same thing with Naomi that I can't watch a match with her because of her ass. I can't watch a match with AJ because of his hair because it's so luxurious. I don't have the fucking problem. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. <laughs> I can't do it, but I'm ready for this match. Okay. Um, good shit. So Raw was meh. 
it, it's if you had to give Raw a grade, what would you give it, April? Uh, I want to say maybe a C. Okay. Like close to a C plus. And how about you, Mister Duviella? Um, me, I'm I'm gonna give it a B minus. I'm gonna be a little bit generous. I think the final segment kind of put it over for me. You know. Okay. And Mister Carter. Complete D. Oh, fuck. mamacita. No, All right, moving on to SmackDown. Uh, Wait, what? What do you give it, Sonny? Uh, I I'm actually gonna give it the grade I gave it when I was on Unpopular Review, and I said it was a C plus. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and Fair. that's Mondays at eleven o five, Tuesdays at ten o five, and Wednesdays at nine o five on the Yep I Like Wrestling Facebook page. So, moving on to SmackDown. We start off with Kevin Owens crashing Kofi Kingston's exclusive interview with Michael Cole, which I got to say, my biggest beef about Kofi coming out, I don't think he should have been carrying the damn pancakes. My biggest he thing has is the belt. when the fuck? Why? Like, my biggest thing is one, Michael Cole is on SmackDown. Like, he's pulling double duty this week. Yeah, so I mean, he's pulling double is, duty, like, yeah. He's pulling double duty. That, that was one of my big pet peeves about this week. I mean, you could have got somebody else to do it. But then no, I think I think he was the right one to do it though. I mean, but another pet peeve is it was just so by the numbers that it was just like, yo, come on, bro, like this is stupid. So my biggest thing, as I keep on saying over and over, nuance. Why are you having him come down with the pancake platter when it could have been on the ring post? He should have been coming out there, standing tall and proud, and just showing off that belt on around his waist. Like, I think Kevin That's Owens said it. He he's not, and and I'm sorry to say I I I was here at you was was at Jack Dempsey's. Okay. Thank you very much at the viewing party. And um, if you saw Shad from Crime Time and MVP standing here when Kofi won that championship, it was a moment. Yeah. So I completely fucking agree with you that he should be capitalizing on that moment. Mm-hmm. We should relive that moment every time Kofi walks down the ramp. He needs to have that belt. He needs to wear it with pride. You're fucking. A WWE champion walking around with fucking pancakes. And he still it's, doing that B character. But the and thing, yeah, it is, it's, it's, and the thing is that it's little things that would, would change it. Like, if you had the pancakes already on the, on the ring post, it's like he's walking in there like the man, and then he's getting to the top of the, of the, of the ring of the uh, the ropes and then flinging them, mm-hmm. so it's like he's still in that mode. He's still doing. He's staying within gimmick, but you just present the gimmick differently. It's it's it, the the biggest the deal is is that when he comes out as one person as opposed to with another person or another two p- people, it the view of it looks different. You know, if he was coming out with. Xavier Woods, or with both Xavier and Big E, and he's carrying it. Actually, he wouldn't even be carrying it. He he would be just a champion. So mm-hmm. it just little things like that belittle the booking of him being the champion. It doesn't feel like it. It doesn't. Like, yeah, it doesn't. Like he just like, and that's why Kevin Owens is going off. Like, look what they're doing. Like because of your whole gimmick, you don't deserve to be champion. But look what they're doing to Kofi. It's like they're like pushing it to the side. Like okay, yeah, he got the belt. But there, he's not doing anything with it. What I what I yeah. agree with superstar Billy Graham. Superstar Billy Graham like is probably one of the most controversial people ever yeah. in terms of his opinions. But he said something that was very relevant. One, he said Kofi was too small. I'm not necessarily going to say that he's too small a champion because I'm going to question his size. But what I'm going to say is that he said that he's not being taken seriously. No. Because at this point, you're doing the same clap, song, and dance that you were doing before you got into this game, before you got into this role as WWE champion. Which is not... That's, that's, that's not that, but, that, but, but the thing See, is that there's nothing wrong, there's with, nothing it. wrong with it. It's about altering how you do. Mm-hmm. Precisely. Because the thing is that there's nothing wrong with continuing the same gimmick. It's just that it has to be slightly adjusted... For the level of where you're at, I mean, he's not. So that's what, and that's what nuance, nuance is. He's not giving champion he, vibes. He's, he's no. transcended. He, I'm sorry. I just say the moment you won the WWE championship, you transcended the new day. The you eclipsed them. Yeah. So at this point, there has to be a higher level for you. And as the WWE champion, I seek my champions to be very strong, mm-hmm. very, you know. 
literally feel like a champion. Let's talk yeah. about AJ Styles as a champion. There was no doubt that AJ Styles was a champion. Daniel Bryan, of all people, like the most loved, beloved superstar in the world, changed his whole entire gimmick to this Captain Planet fucking guy that cursed us out every week for being fucking fickle. But I believed he was a champion. Mm-hmm. Kofi, I just, I don't know. Yeah, they're they're violating him hard. But I do want to give a shout out to Xavier Woods because the way he sold that kick that Kevin gave him was mm. yeah, he was down for a while. It was like yo, it was like damn, all right, bro. Talk about overacting. Yeah. But you He's... know what? He is never fighting, yeah. so I guess he doesn't know the timing. But it went on a little too long. Like cut it like well, a minute. I you know what? I also kind of wonder if it was because. He was supposed to stay on the floor until they went to commercial, and they just kind of they delayed that commercial. They, or it might have, it might not have been that the commercial was delayed. It was that they just went too early, and then when they finally went to commercial, it was just like, oh damn, you gotta stay down, oh, stay on the floor, bro. We're not ready to go to commercial yet. No, but he was on the floor for like two minutes. Oh, he got yeah, I know, but, I, <laughs> but oh, it, he got a good question. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of concussions, uh, Becky Lynch defeated Bailey. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Yeah. Like I like the match. Too, too the false. match was, was good. My, my biggest issue on the match was um, when they went to commercial because I think there was a, a, a specific part of the match uh, that looked like it was really engaging. During the whole commercial break. But it was during the commercial break. So it was like it took away because it was like that one moment of drama during the match. But it was while it was in the small screen while they're playing a Geico commercial. I hate when they do that. I actually like when they do it. But not like during matches like these. But if they were going to. Bullshit matches, okay. I mean, if they were going to have this kind of drama in that match, they fucked up on their timing. Mm -hmm. You know, again, little things. Let's move on. (sighs) <sighs> this was sad. The Hardy Boys. This was sad. So it seems like Jeff Hardy's going to be out of action for a while. Oh, and uh, They vacated the title. Yeah, because it was kind of like there was so much shit going on that I wasn't sure if they actually did. But, uh, yeah, they're no longer champions. and Which sucks. You know. I mean, to win those belts in such convincing fashion from the Usos that obviously are on Raw now, yeah. and to have to relinquish them after a few weeks of being champions they and, never, de- and it, never defending you know, it. They, they never defended it. I mean, it, it, it's to me, I feel like if Jeff was injured, relinquish them sooner. Like, literally put them back into circulation sooner. But I can understand, like, them blaming it on Lars. I love that, actually, that you used Jeff's injury to put over Lars Sullivan. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Because mm-hmm. who, who it, it actually exactly. happened at a house show. Exactly. It, it legitimately happened at a house show, off of TV, but... Like you said, using it for a way to put Lars over it makes sense. Olympus, what do you think about that? Big men beat two skinny men down, and I truth, no reason. I, I have nothing. Okay. And it kind of sucks because I actually forgot the Hardy Boys were champions too. Yeah. And you know what's funny? <laughs> Ever since the shakeup, like the whole tag team division has been so all over the place. I forgetting who's champions. I don't. I don't you know. know. What? That's you know because what? I... Din Malenko quit. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Good fucking point. Yeah. <laughs> good, really good fucking point. That's so nice. then <laughs> that leads us over to uh, Kyrie Sane, another tag team match. Kyrie Sane and Asuka. Asuka! Taking on some local competitors, which I got to say, these local competitors were absolutely trash. Yo, what was that? It was trash. <laughs> what was that? It, it, I, I, I think I barely saw this match. I, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> going to hurt people's feelings right now, but the two prostitutes that were on commentary. <laughs> you know what? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. The, the two prostitutes that were what in on, the ring? On commentary. Oh. 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 Uh, you talking sorry, about the Iconics? No, yeah, no, wait. We got, we got to do it right. The two prostitutes. They, they, are, they, no. they, they buy and sell. They were under no. the table. They are the blowing. women's tag team No, champions. no. The no, women's I tag team. All right. So hold up. Real quick. I got to say something. The views and opinions of Olympus <laughs> Carter are his, and they do not represent the thoughts or opinions of Yep, I Like Wrestling or Unpopular Review. He's talking for everybody now. You see, he doesn't no. pay anybody, but talks for everybody. He's the mouthpiece. Don't, don't disrespect the Iconics. Don't Truly, disrespect Vinnie them. Mac doesn't pay us enough for going to AEW. Yo, the Iconics. Iconic. I love Now, them. when you were saying the two prostitutes, I thought you were referring to the local competitors no, in the no, ring. No, no, because no, no, no. We got, honestly, like, no. a fake-ass Poison Ivy Ariel. 
Yeah, versus honestly. some Josie and the Pussycat Dolls type Yo, bitch. Yo, Josie and the Pussycats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And it was not you, cute. You know what's oh. funny? I thought I saw them on Hunt's Point. Straight ass. <laughs> Straight ass. Yeah, I saw that. Wait, I saw why it. you got to bring up the Bronx, honey? Like, why is it always with you in the Bronx? Like, you live you, in the Bronx. You, you told me to go get a sugar. No, you tell me to go get a sugar. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I didn't the Bronx. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. Yeah. See, you, see how you, that works? You, you, I just told you. No, 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 no. You but told me to tell you wrong. Tell me I'm wrong that they didn't look like they're from Hunts Point. Look, I don't know anything about Hunts Point after 12 o'clock uh, on a Friday night, but I'm just saying that it probably is. That was oddly isn't. specific. It was oddly mm-hmm. specific, but I don't know anything about that. All right, April. Uh, what about Hunts Point? I don't live over there. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't uh, live anywhere. You don't know that. Um, I barely saw this match because every time they bring on local competitors, they're trash. But these bitches were bad. <laughs> I. But my whole thing is that and not in a good way. No, I, I see, I, I, look, I'm seeing a bad bitch right now. But those uh, these women were terrible. You cannot say that like that. <sighs> Wait, I have to. Can I refresh? I see a beautiful woman must. here, but these bitches were bad. I mean, terrible. Not like, a good. Not that Michael Jackson eh. bad. Like no. 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 This no, is no. This no. Was, yeah. Honestly, this is also, I don't know. It's the same thing with the women now. You know, we got the Iconics in the commentary, which I love. I I, I love them so much. Bless like kids. Iconics. It's such a hot mess. But just seeing them on commentary and going off and doing all these little things, at, um, I love it. But I am hoping, I'm hoping that Kyrie and Asuka, I hope they do something with them. You know what's funny? <sighs> Those local competitors were so bad, I felt like Kyrie saying actually put a little, little more oomph into that. Uh, flying elbow Yo, that, that she elbow came down because it was bored. almost as if like she really was like oh yeah you know what for being horrible I'm gonna fuck you up <laughs> so, that elbow uh, was horrid yeah. I'm sorry this kind of gave me a uh, uh, dick malfunction basically two matches before I had Bailey on the screen and I'm just like wow wonderful awesome and then I see these wooden planks and this Kyrie Saint killed her that insane elbow was fucking ridiculous. Yeah, like, yeah. It was probably her best insane elbow on the main fucking roster. Because she just was that hard. It, 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 <laughs> no, it was, it was because it, was, it, it, it was because it wasn't a working elbow. It was a legit you, shoot elbow. You dishonor your father. <laughs> you dishonor your family. Uh, speaking of planks, um, what is going on with Alistair Black? Because uh, <laughs> this poor man, why? He so, like, how are you going to do a vignette for somebody that already been here? He's the emo <laughs> kid. Of, no, he's the emo kid of the WWE. So he's emo. You need to have a special segment for all the emo kids so they don't do bad emo stuff. You know what? The it's Black get, Parade is it, real. It's it's kind of getting like to a album. point. Yeah, that's a that's a fucking <laughs> great album. I love my Chemical Romance. Don't judge yeah, me. Yeah, my Chemical Romance is a shit, dude. Mm-hmm. I wasn't talking about them bastards. Uh, but um, you know what? It's it's. Borderline getting to where uh, Alistair Black is going to be like those emo kids on South Park. I'm with it because I love them. Yeah, it's it's I, it's getting there. I don't have an opinion about Alistair. I, we were talking about it earlier, and if you're pushing Ricochet on Raw, you got to push Alistair. Mm-hmm. And the best way to push Alistair at this point, because he's not familiar to SmackDown Live, is to literally put out a vignette for somebody that's been here already for four fucking months yeah, yeah. in the tag division on Raw. What the f- Fuck, do I need to know who Alistair Black is? If I'm smart to NXT TV, I know he's a former NXT champion. If I'm smart to NXT, I know that he won the Dusty Rhodes Classic. If I'm, it, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Dude. I just hope they're doing something with him because honestly, I'm with it and then again, I'm not. But I'm very curious to see what's going to be his first feud with. Okay. Who he's going to have his first feud with. Yeah, well, we'll see because it's, um, it's definitely two sides of the coin where we have Ricochet being pushed and this guy doing vignettes like he's never been here. So. I mean, people were complaining about them as a tag team. I love them as a tag team because they were so opposite and it worked. Yeah. But now we got Babyface Ricochet on Raw and we got Emo Aleister Black on SmackDown, which works. Wait, just, does it work? Because I don't know. I, These vignettes, I'm not sure. But let's. Not with the vignettes, like their, but just the vibe wise. Like, their tag team was like putting Marilyn Manson and Will Smith together. Calm down. That's just stupid. Yeah. It's the dumbest tag team in the world. I liked it, but anyways. I thought it was a good tag team, but. Um, you like a lot of things. Moving oh on. God. Roman Reigns in a handicap match against the B team. B team, B team, go, 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 go. I'm really happy. And with Elias that. as a special <laughs> guest referee enforcer, which just. I'm surprised that Roman Reigns won. They yeah. are – he is so starting from the bottom, and I love it. They're really making him work his way up. And he's getting these pops, but it's sad because they're kind of sympathy pops. But, yeah, let me ask you this. <laughs> Isn't it the good way to do it because, you know, because Kofi is champion, you can't put Roman in that championship picture? Oh, no, 
I love that they're building him. Before, yeah. when when the shield broke up, they basically skyrocketed him. That's why th- we hated him so much because they pushed him down our throats. He's getting everything. He's getting everything. Now that he's back, he's actually starting from the complete bottom. They're fighting the B team. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah no, nah, it Out makes of all sense. people. And I want to see him grow, and hopefully he learns a couple of more moves because I'm tired of seeing <laughs> the same three moves. All right. Um, what about you, Stefan? I mean... Like April said, I think she said it best. Uh, Roman being positioned in the bottom of the card and working his way up is what's best for him right now. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's getting sympathy pops, and obviously they're going to change into real pop. Hopefully. And, you know, I'm just enjoying it. I'm enjoying having Roman back. I, I like that he's healthy. I like that he's back. So, I mean, I really have nothing to say about this match with the mm-hmm. B team. He, he beat them. Are you, are you happy with where Elias is right now? No. <sighs> I'm Poor definitely Elias. not. I'm definitely not. I think there's a lot of been a lot of missed opportunities with Elias to push him into the mid card. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could have pushed him as intercontinental okay. champion. But so I think they're doing better with him now than they do than they were doing with him on yeah, Raw. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're putting him on matches and not just doing the music yeah. thing. So there, I get it. There's gonna be more championship opportunities here for him. But I mean, and I like Elias. Yeah, I was yeah. skipping with him for a while. Now I'm just slow walking to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just watching him walk by. Uh, the next match. Sexiest match of the whole week. Continue, sorry. Oh, God. This is a sexy match. Is this what she does when she's here? Yeah, it seems like it. So yeah, we have the uh, contestants for the SmackDown side of the Money in the Bank briefcase match. Uh, Finn Balor and Ali mm. defeating Randy Orton and Andrade. Mm. And it was uh, some interesting back and forth on, on the mic with Andrade and all of them. It, it was like He's learning English from Charlotte. Yeah, I'm with it. Uh, I, mean, I, I tell you, I want to be America, <laughs> and I have to be champion because Charlotte Flair told me. Yo, honestly, why are you talking if you got a mouthpiece? Like, come Seriously, on, bro. Seriously, he just came out of nowhere like Finn Balor. I know. I feel like Zelina was looking at him like, "Yo, dude, what the fuck? That's my gimmick, bro. What the fuck are you doing?" And, and, <laughs> it was just, it was a lot. Yeah. I, Charlotte definitely used her fucking pull to get Andrade. Oh, oh yeah, no, that was that She's was like, definitely. I don't want to be away from. My my my, my 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 man. No no no. I like being called La Reina. Get his ass back. That's mm-hmm. that was what that's what La that Reina. shit was. <laughs> yeah, that's what that shit was. But uh, I you love know. Finn and Ali together. Like Aww. I just laugh because Finn came from Raw and he was basically just like the little guy in the big pond, the whole David and Goliath thing. So yeah. I just laugh to see him with competitors his size, and it's like, oh, you're making friends, and they. I like them together, and they work really well together. So yeah. I was happy. I mean, it's – I mean, it was cool. I mean, I, I feel like – It was a like good match. It was an enjoyable match. I'm, I liked I'm, it. You know, this – I'm really looking forward to the Money in the Bank match. Yes. Especially with this build, this lineup right now. Oh, my God. Because I want to see some of the – You need some water? I got water. I'm good. Do you need some air? I'm good. She's huffing and puffing over no, there. Yeah, I'm I think she, about her. Yeah, I think she's dehydrated. She needs CPR. That's all the sliding I've been doing yeah. all this place. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, I think there's going to be some so really interesting uh, matchups mm-hmm. within that match with some of the guys that are involved on this show as well as on the Raw show. Um, and then we ended the, the SmackDown Live. I hated this ending. I wasn't mad at it, but it's – so it brings me back to a time when Kofi and Randy Orton had a, had a feud. Mm-hmm. And I thought Kofi looked like the show showed that he could be the man, and then he never got the push. I think he's getting the opportunity now, and I wasn't entirely mad with it, but it's got to be a little bit better acting from Kofi. I mean, what do you think, Stefan? I I am so sorry to say this. I am, yeah, this just didn't do it for me. I, Same. I, I didn't like it at all. I just felt like just give somebody else the bottom of. Like the ending of Raw. You already had Kofi opening up Raw. Why you know, is you don't have to put him out. twice. Same thing with you Kevin know? Owens. You know? Like that whole little thing where he had his show and basically, oh, Xavier's not here bringing out their dolls and basically belittling them the whole time. I wasn't for it. As much as I love Kevin Owens, but it's like what you said, Stefan. We already saw this in the beginning. Why end it the same exact way? I'm not with it. Yeah. No, I was turned off by this. But um, we didn't even get to say um, – on the SmackDown side, Sonny, who would you want to see for Money in the Bank? Anyone from SmackDown if Raw didn't win? Um, you know what? I got to be honest with you. I, I, I think the person to to win the Money in the Bank on the SmackDown side should be Andrade. I think Andrade would be the perfect person to, to win on the SmackDown side. 
I gotta agree. I love Finn, but he already got a title. I don't even know why he's in this. Yeah, Ali. To be honest, too is too early. He's too early. early. Randy Orton like already been there, and uh, Andrade is the perfect one. And it's like to see him having the Money in the Bank and Zelina Vega. I think it just it just makes it it, it her carrying it around too mm-hmm. while he's in the ring. You know, I think there's there's a there's gold there. So. I you would know. not be mad if Andrade cashes in on Finn and wins the Intercontinental title. I wouldn't be mad. I love their feud. With no, but it's not going to be for that title. I, it's no, but I'm saying like I would in my head, in I would be happy okay. if he cashed in for that title that because be the first ma- the matchup they had at Raw, I loved it. Why? That would be terrible. Like, Why? Uh, I'm just saying, you're, you're cashing in a Money in the Bay briefcase for a mid-card title. Fuck. Yeah, no, yeah, but no, I'm but saying that, it in, 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 her head, in, her, in my in head. There's a lot that goes on in her head. We have to call her out on it. It's terrible. I mean, it's terrible. In my head, match-wise, it would be a great match. I don't think Finn was WWE. Honestly, I disagree with you. And plus, I think it would be a bigger deal to have him cash in on Kofi. Oh, obviously. And then it leads to a, a title versus title with Finn. I think that would that would become a bigger deal than just him cashing in on whatever title that Finn has. But what do you I think? I just really Olympus? enjoyed their match oh, on Raw. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. I just really enjoyed their it's match just, on Raw. Just like her to win her mouth about stuff she doesn't know about. Oh, oh my God, go anyway, home. Anyway, I just <laughs> I, I don't understand it. I mean, I I just. I want Andrade to win because, you know, he used to be a luchador, you know, like me. Okay. He wear mask and stuff, you know. You know. That's, that's why. Speaking of the whole lucha <laughs> and, and lucha libre and the luchadors, you know, it is. We are celebrating Cinco de Mayo right now. And um, it's uh, rich with lucha libre history. You know, lucha libre began in 1863. You know, the mass of wrestling come from the Mexican wrestling history. You know, starts off with El Santo, you know, who w- spent five decades as a prominent figure in wrestling. One of the best to ever do it. I mean, you know, when you talk about stardom, you talk about somebody in El Santo that transcended what it meant to be a luchador. He literally went into movies, went into TV shows, and then literally only had one interview where he pulled off his mask and... They buried him in his mask. Yeah. That is the stardom. You have Gory Guerrero, the Guerrero family. Yeah. You have, you know, people like Ray Phoenix. You have people like Andrade himself, who is formerly La, like, La something. But, uh, <laughs> no, no, okay. um, but he, he, he basically was CMLL. He was part of the Super Juniors. He's versus off against Juice and Thunder Liger, who's a Japanese variation of the Luchador. So, I yeah. mean, it's, it's rich with history, and, and I. I love it, honestly. I mean, I think maybe Olympus may love it more than I do because he's like yeah. this guy that wears a mask all the time. But yeah, I don't know. and I mean all the time. <laughs> That's what's I, on his driver's license. How are you gonna have a mask on your driver's license? Bro? I even wear it when I'm in bed. I'm not surprised. With the ladies. <laughs> oh lord. No so mask off for me. Is the lady <laughs> breathing? <laughs> oh, that's 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 uh necromancy i don't do that oh uh, okay i oh, was actually man. wondering if it was just a, a pop up blow up doll but anyway oh, oh, yeah. oh i wonder if ray wears his mask while he's fucking his wife <laughs> i've always been curious you can find out later oh you're not ray though <sighs> and you're not his and you're not his wife <laughs> nope <laughs> wait she didn't deny that you see Sonny she forgot that you know when she's uh, talking a lot she forgets certain oh things oh my god go Just home some things go over Bra- her head brainwashing is a hell of a drug it really so is. um so yeah I mean listen Cinco de Mayo or it's going to be or it just was but uh if you don't have a your own wrestling mask shame on you as a wrestling fan go out and get a mask make sure you do your thing and uh wait I don't have a wrestling mask you mean you your are, friend does? You are a wrestling mask. <laughs> you mean I'm a wrestling mask? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wrestling mask. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't have... I mean, honestly, I, I, I love Lucha Libre, and I love... You know, if I was to train as a wrestler, I'd want to start in Mexico. That's where I'd like to start. So I'd understand it, and being under hood for such a long time and then taking it off. But I just... You know, I don't want to buy one here. I want to get one from Mexico. Well, that's where I got mine. Uh, see, I actually got, I, I actually got, I actually got, um, I got two in Mexico when I was in Cancun, and then it's funny because I have another one that's kind of Mexican because it was from uh, Nacho Libre the movie. Because Nacho, <laughs> get that coin out of my face. But um, 
Yeah, I did a, I did a party for uh, the Natural Libre movie and actually had my own mask. So <laughs> we we have to do a viewing party where everybody wears a mask because some of the people at the viewing party suddenly look ugly as shit. <laughs> Including Damn. yourself. Don't worry. About <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Um, I haven't really been into lucha wrestling, okay. but it's nice to see that has been such an inspiration for other wrestlers. You know, we got Ricochet who wasn't Lucha, Lucha Underground. Yeah. Yeah. Puma, he was Prince doing other that. You have um, Io Shirai pulling the 619, yeah, learning yeah. that shit from Rey Mysterio. And you're seeing basically everyone and their mother worshiping um, Eddie Guerrero. You know, you see um, Peyton doing, I think she, she wore the Eddie Guerrero pants. And you see some of these wrestlers doing the Three Amigos. Yeah. And you got Lingero. I guess Lingero? El Lingero. Yeah. Lingero, yeah. Lingero from um, NXT UK. He's on Lucha as well. So just to see how much inspiration that they're getting from, you know, these Mexicans in their history, it's fucking amazing. I mean, I mean it's, it's, exp it's expanded all over the world. I mm -hmm. mean, the, the, the Mexican influence has influenced so many different forms of, of wrestling because, you know, it's... You, know, you have the American style, you have the British style, you have the Japanese style. And that lucha style, serious. Yeah. And the lucha style has influenced all of the other styles mm -hmm. in one way or another. So, um, yeah, it's been interesting. And all I have to do, say to you guys is happy Cinco de Mayo and happy Lucha Libre. So, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. He looked at me like I was supposed to say something else. I like, mean, you are a lucha fan. How do you? I mean, how do you're you, wearing a lucha mask. You are bro. wearing a mask. I mean, I I love it, but I'd love for you to wear my mask and maybe I can inspire you. I'm good. Okay. All right. All right. By the way, remember, so when we're done here, we're gonna talk about what we're planning, you know, and we'll make an announcement on Monday on a popular reviews. So wait, wait, what you guys are planning? Why do you want to know? Well, I'm just curious so that you know it's something we could we could promote. Curious. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fucking asshole. But um, Obviously, I'll be the last one to find out, like I always do. Oh, damn. No, you're the first one to find out anything, I'm good. mamacita. No, I'll, I'll, mm. I'll be the last one in this one. We're oh, good. Okay. I'll wait till Monday. Can you be the first and the last? No. All right. <laughs> uh, so, I guess we're going to have a special announcement on Monday on, on Popular Review by either Olympus or Stefan. So, stay tuned for that on the Yep, I Like Wrestling Facebook page. That is facebook.com slash Y E P I O W. And uh, I think that's a wrap for this week's episode, episode number 80 of the Yep I Like Wrestling podcast. Wait, wait, oh wait. my God. So that means wait. I've been listening to this show since episode five. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. You can oh, count. Wow. 75 episodes job, I've been count. in. I'm so proud you, of myself. So, basi so basically, you have devoted 76, probably like 80 hours. Because, you know, some of the episodes have gone more than an hour. So it's about 80 hours of uh, Yep, I Like Wrestling that you've devoted to. So thank you for wasting, I mean, spending all that time. Hey, if honestly, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Pretty I'm much, yeah. Front. Wait a goddamn minute. Like, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here. Hold um, on, wait, wait, wait. This had nothing to do with Yep, well, I, I, to do with Stefan uh, and, and bringing you into the fold. Let's not do that. I, I, let's I, not, I, hold no, up. No, no. Let's I, not I, get a little bit too handsy actually, 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 just to correct the, the history, uh, April's been on before on Pop Review was the thing. Yes. Yeah. Look, yeah. she's been so. on you. She's been with you guys. No, she's yeah. With you guys. No, no. Hey, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. I'm a little. You know what, Olympus? I am paying for your Uber. It's time to go. So. Wait, you're paying for my Uber? Thank yes. you to for joining house? us. No. Can we go to your house? Oh, my God. Go home. So, thank you for joining us on this episode of the Yep, I Like Wrestling Podcast. Make sure you follow us on all podcast platforms by searching YEP, I Like Wrestling. And also follow us on all social media by following us at Y-E-P-I-O-W. So on behalf of this episode, my name is Sonny Sofrito, and today I was joined by... The Wild Cards of Vondeville. And I was also joined today by... The Brooklyn Wolf of Makeup. This is April, you heard. And for the first and possibly final time, I was joined by... Olympus Carter. The yeah. The only. Oh. <laughs> you yeah. ricochet. The man. The man that's never going to be back again. It's so going to be to be here. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, popular reviews exclusive. All right. Thanks for, doesn't know about. <laughs> thanks for joining us. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Peace. Bye. Suck on that, Olympus. <laughs>